guys, so today's video is going to be my February favourites because it is the first of March today. And just two things before I start. Firstly, if I'm talking really weirdly, which now I'm aware of it, I know I'm talking weirdly, and you can see horrible things in my teeth, it's because I have bands on my braces to like move my bite. Um, I would take them out for the video, but I've only just put them back in because I forgot to put them in for like an hour and a half while I was at dance, so I need to wear them. So if they really annoy you, then just click out the video, because I don't mind, because they annoy me as well. And also, um... It's going to be quite a short video um, because I haven't got many favourites this month. I'm not really too sure why. I just couldn't really find much stuff that's like worthy for my favourites. So yeah, I have a few things though. So it's going to do beauty, random and song. So first start with beauty. The first thing I've been liking is the Garnier Skin Naturals Micellar Cleansing Water. Which looks like this. I'm aware I'm talking like this but I can't stretch my jaw so you know. <clears throat> and this is, uh, it basically removes makeup and cleanses and soothes with no rinsing. So it's basically, it's a dupe for the Bioderma that, as you'll probably know, everyone went mental for. And they look quite similar as well. Just imagine this bottle was bigger. Uh, they're both like kind of got a label that says what it is and they're white and pink. Except this was 10 euros and 90 cents and this was five pounds. So um, it's basically the same, it's just kind of like a cleansing water that takes your makeup off and it takes your makeup up really well. And this is a massive bottle, so it says it gets you 200 uses, which is really good. Ow. And yeah, it can just take off like all your makeup, just your whole face of makeup. So I like this and I've been using that a bit. It's kind of full, but you know. And I totally finished my biodimer. The next favourite is the Bath and Body Works Midnight Pomegranate Pocket Back Antibacterial Hand Gel, which looks like this. And I got these off eBay, I believe, for like £2, which is really good, considering I think they're probably £2 in the US. And you can't get them in the UK. And this is pomegranate, and it smells really nice and just really fruity. And what I like about these is when you put it on, you can smell it on your hands for literally like an hour afterwards. It's really nice. And they've got little sparkles in them that like go away when you rub it in. And I've had a raspberry pink peony one and I really like that, but that's finished now. Well, almost finished. So yeah, it just smells really nice and obviously it's antibacterial, so it's very useful. The next thing is kind of a thing in general. It is glossy boxes in general. This is my February Glossy Box, which I did my last video on. <clears throat> and I just really like getting Glossy Box. This is my last one in my subscription, so I think I might resubscribe. I'm not sure though. And I really like this one. I'm not going to talk about it too much because I did talk about it in my last video, so go and watch that. I'll link it here. Um, but yeah, um, I just really like Glossy Boxes. I love seeing new stuff and kind of just getting them in one thing. So that's like getting five little presents every month so yeah it's really nice and yeah i just really like it the last beauty favorite oh see i told you there's not many favorites is the clinique high Lengths mascara in number one black which i got for christmas but i hadn't used it until i think this month so that's why it wasn't in my january favorites and firstly the packaging the box is so nice i really like it just like floral, no, yeah, floral. And the tube's also really nice. Um, it's got a nice metal lid. And, yes. So it's a bright green wand, and then the wand, it looks so rubbish. It's just got the tiniest spikes on it. If you can see. I had this on today, and it actually makes your eyelashes really long. And I really like it. And it, I think it's, well, I don't know. I think it may, may or may be tied with my fav my love of Benefit there, Real Mascara. So yeah, I really like this. It looks really bad, but it's really good. And yeah, I just like basically everything about it. The only downside is that because the one's so small, it's sometimes quite hard to get to like the inner lashes. But yeah. So I really like it. It makes my eyelashes quite long, I think. Okay, on to random favourites now. Sorry about this. 
first random favourite is my tartan scarf, which I got for my birthday. If you saw that in my birthday haul, which I'll link here. Look at me getting all technical. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. It is like a proper tartan scarf. Like proper colours and proper material. It's like wool. And it's got like all the proper tartan colours. And this is just really cosy. I, I just love wearing this. And I just wear it like this. Just like that. And yeah, I just really like it. It's really cosy and really in fashion and nice. The next beauty favourite is something like quite random and big. It is my MacBook Air, which I bought for myself a few weeks back. And I've just been loving this so much. Like, I will never go back to like an, a PC. Um, Max for the win. So yeah, it's the MacBook Air, so it's the really slim one. And I bought this case for it, which is kind of like a matte uh, case that goes on top from Amazon. That was like £10, I think, so that's really good. And then I also, this is another kind of favourite, is this case. Well, it's kind of like a sleeve. This is also from Amazon, and it was £10 as well. And it's like furry on the inside, like really soft. And, um, and it's got like a really cute kind of hippie pattern hippie did i just say that oh it's really colorful and i really like this just to protect my laptop because i'm so clumsy that i my laptop needs protecting like a lot so yeah it's just my little laptop which i love it's my little baby that's so sad okay the next favorite is a program on bbc three maybe BBC Two, I'm not sure, but it's called Jame Diary of a Private School Girl. You might have known it. You might know it. It's an Australian, originally Australian program. It's just come over to the UK, and it's so funny. I love it, and it's just so like once you watch one episode. You, sorry about that plane. Once you watch one episode, you want to watch all of them, which is what I did because when I first saw it, I was like, "This is really weird. Let's turn this off." And then I, everyone was on about, so I thought, "Oh, I might watch it." It kind of looked alright. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, I need to watch all the rest and then I caught up. So yeah, and I really like it. It's really funny. It is kind of like an offensive funny. So if you get offended really easily, then I wouldn't recommend it because you probably won't like it. The next favourite, which I actually have to show on my laptop, is Camp Dakota. Dakota, that sounds really posh. Um, which is Grace Helbig from It's Grace. I he said Daily Grace then. It's Grace. Mamry Heart and Hannah Hart, all from YouTube, they made a movie and it is such a good movie, I watched it like twice in a, a week, like less than a week, like maybe like five days, it's so good, it's really interesting, like funny and it's not too serious movie, like because obviously they're not actors, they're YouTubers, they, they didn't make it too serious, which I really like and yeah it's just really catchy, it's really good, shall I show you a bit, here it is. I downloaded it on iTunes, so don't watch it illegally. It, it, this was only, well, there was one, it was three ninety nine on iTunes. I think this, this is one I got. three ninety nine for non-HD, four ninety nine for HD, which is so good for a movie. It's one hour and 41 minutes, I think. Yeah, one hour 41. And it's only four ninety nine for the most expensive one. That is so good. And you can also buy it on campdakota.com. If you go on there and you can get like packages with documentaries and stuff. But yeah, I just really like it. It's so good. And yeah, Sawyer Hartman's in it as well. And Chris Rydell. He's really hot. And Chester C. I think that might be his name. But he's really hot as well. So yeah, let's stop talking about hot people. But yeah, I just love that film. It's really, really good. And lastly, the song favourite is Rather Be by Clean Bandit. I think that's who it is. Yeah, Rather Be by Clean Bandit featuring Jess Glynn or Glyne, I don't know, but it's a really good song. It's so catchy, it just makes you want to like sing. Um, and yeah, ready. That's what it looks like. And I've been listening to that quite a lot, and it was, I think it was, might have been on The Brits? No. I don't know, it was on something, and yeah, I just really like it. So yeah. So they are all my favourites. I know it wasn't many. I might have not 
been that interesting and my teeth were really annoying my bands but I hope you got past that also I have really dry lips but please ignore that I don't know why they're so dry but yes thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye